hello hello welcome back to my channel it is me it is i it is she it is her it is the it is who it is rosie rosette 2020 pal you can tell when i'm i'm ready to go i'm ready to get off of here because i could dish out that intro or whatever anyway um yes it's, it is october that i am wearing the pink wig why am i doing that and why am i, I i'm specifying the fact that it's october because it's national breast cancer awareness month i know halloween is also a part of october but this is of the utmost more importance i know you guys want to party whatever halloween is on a sunday so everybody's going to go out um saturday night i get it i get it people who practice halloween anyway um but before that can you guys please if you have not already if you're 40 and over definitely if you're 50 over can you please make a um an appointment if you haven't already or you know if you haven't in the two years whatever can you please go get your tatas check your breast it's national breast cancer where it's not okay okay there it is there's your mind all right excuse me something's not right but anyway please okay all right thank you now moving on to schedule programming <laughs> the people yeah. He must be on some good, good stuff. Some stuff that just, people are crazy. People are crazy. This man is accused of killing his neighbor whose cat walked onto his property. Yes, this one. Can you imagine Clifton Bliss? He's not a crack baby. He could be a crack baby and a meth head. Because who does that he looks evil look it looks like one of his jaws are dislocated oh can you imagine can you imagine living next door to an insane neighbor like this isn't that creepy to live next door to a man who would kill you because your cat walked on his property now, what could a cat have done? I mean, is he allergic to cats? A man fatally, Clifton Anthony Bliss Jr., a man fatally shot his neighbor Wednesday morning. It must be incest in this story or something like that. Because it, Wednesday morning after the neighbor's cat wandered onto his property in the Ocola National Forest. The Marin County Sheriff's Office said, Marin County Sheriff's Office, oh, okay, Orlando, Florida, a man fatally shot his neighbor Wednesday morning after the cat, after the neighbor's cat wandered onto his property in the Ocola National Forest. The Marin County Sheriff's Office said, Invest investigators said that they were called shortly before 10.30 a.m. to southeast 258th Avenue Road in response to a shooting. <laughs> Detectives said Clifton Anthony Blish Jr. 58 became angry when a cat belonging to his neighbor James Arlen Taylor Jr. All these juniors 41 walked onto his property. They said Bliss grabbed a shotgun and threatened to shoot the cat. Taylor asked Bliss to not shoot the cat not to shoot his cat and bliss then shot taylor in the chest killing him investigators said Just two witnesses who happened to be driving past taylor stopped their vehicle rolled down their window and asked taylor if he was okay mm -mm -mm. look at this fool look 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 you know he has issues you know what if you live next door someone move um, the witness described Bliss as a troublemaker who often confronted neighbors about their pets. Bliss was booked into Marin County Jail on charges of second-degree murder. He is being held without bail. Girl. Oh, my goodness. This is just... People, you know, like, what, what is wrong with folks? Literally, what is wrong with them? Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. this i guess this is where they live this is like in the backwoods or something orlando florida i don't know oh my goodness oh lord isn't this sad is this a trailer park oh okay okay but it's
it's so, ah shoot um it's too much it's it's just too it's too much people people this this just can't happen come on really over a cat over a cat I I, I just don't know what to say mm -mm -mm. I think we need to start opening up more mental institutions because there's, it seems like there's a huge amount of number of people who desperately need some mental help. And, you know, if you're going to kill a man because a cat, okay, maybe, you know, he's allergic to cats. I get it. Maybe, you know, he just doesn't want, maybe the cat, you know, scratched him up. Maybe the cat poo-pooed, peed or something. You know, maybe the cat killed one of the rats or mice or whatever. I don't know. But when it comes to the point where you need to kill a man over a cat on your, a cat, I can understand if it was a pit bull who, you know, tried to kill you or maul you or your kids or something like that, or a cougar cat or a lion, you know, a lion or a leopard or whatever, but a little house cat? Are you serious? A little house cat? Really? Oh, you should run on it. I mean, you're going to kill a man over a house cat. And first he was going to kill the cat. Now, I will say this, you know, that the neighbor, obviously, he knew that his neighbor has issues. Okay, we get that. If you know your neighbor has issues and that he would kill your cat, you need to keep that cat locked up or on a leash. The cat doesn't need to go outside. And if he does, I don't know how you train a cat not to go. I, I don't know. Is our cats trainable? But are, you know what? If, if it's to the point where you know that your neighbor, excuse me, does not like cats and your cat keeps wandering over to your neighbor's house and you know your neighbor's crazy, get rid of the cat. Or better yet, just move all together. Just, just move all together. You, the cat, you know, and whoever else. But I, you know, the guy is wrong for killing the man over the cat. The man who got killed, he is wrong for having the cat trespass on the man's property if they have gotten into it before about his cat being on his property. Now, should he have he killed his neighbor? No. No, no, no. But maybe they should have got a police involved or the pet control or whatever or something like that. Listen, you when people have a stance on something, you have to listen and understand and heed the issues that are happening in the lives of the people around you. <clears throat> and if you can't do that, then guess what? <clears throat> No, you don't deserve to die by no means possible, but you need to move. You need to move. Just like if someone is running to attack you or has a gun or whatever, you need to move. You need to move out of danger's way. That cat was an issue for the neighbor, even though to me or to mo a lot of people that might be a, sh a small issue, but you never know what the cat triggered in the man's psyche. And obviously, it triggered enough for the man to want to kill the cat and whoever else stood up for the cat. You never know what triggers people. It could be a cat. It could be some shoes. It could be makeup, wigs, car, you know, a sound, anything. You never know what triggers people. That's why you have to be careful and stay out of harm's way. If you know someone's triggered by something and you continue to do it, then guess what? You know, I think at my old job, or what, I think someone was saying this. This wasn't at my job. If you, like, not attack, but if you um, antagonize or initiate 
an argument and then someone strikes you and then you strike back you're still at fault because I think this is how it goes because you initiated it like you can't you know go off on someone or bully them and da 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 and then the person attacks you and then you attack him back because of self-offense that's not I think this is right I think that's not self-offense because you initiated it you came over and bullied them you can't come over and bully him and then someone attacks you and then you claim self-defense and, and attack him back no because you for one you shouldn't have been touching them you shouldn't have initiated it no 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 ma'am no mm -mm. so now the cat doesn't have an owner, this man is dead, and the neighbor is in jail. Then maybe the man who shot the other man, the the you know, the crazy neighbor who shot him, maybe he should have moved. If he feels like he couldn't handle the cat on his property, then maybe he should have moved like far away. But I think this was a trailer park. Far away where there was no cats. Then he could worry about snakes and real cats you shoot them you see what i'm saying but this is just it's a sad sad situation sad sad situation okay talk to you guys later bye